When Bridlington Corporation bought the Seaby Hall Estate in 1934, they found there was much to be done to turn their purchase into a public amenity. New paths and steps had to be laid. A car park was constructed where before there had just been paddock. A bandstand was built and the outbuildings and stables repurposed for a new use. Inside, as well as outside, the corporation workmen were busy. The ground floor was converted into a cafe and a new kitchen extension had to be built, as well as creating cloakrooms and public lavatories in previously domestic rooms. But by the summer of 1936, all was ready, and on the 1st of June, the hall and gardens were officially opened by Amy Johnson. It was a magnificent event. Never before or since have so many people come to Seaby Hall and Gardens. Cars queued for a quarter of a mile to get into the car park, and it was estimated that the crowd numbered 15,000 people. One eyewitness recalled the excitement she had felt as a 10-year-old girl, explaining that it was like a movie star coming to the town. Amy arrived to great cheers from the crowd, and Miss Monica Wilkins' Ladies' Orchestra struck up the tune Amy, Wonderful Amy from the new bandstand. This was Amy's first public engagement since she had returned from her record-breaking flight to South Africa the previous month. She had caught a chill on that trip, and her attendance at the opening had been in some doubt. Nevertheless, the Hull Daily Mail was able to report that she looked marvellously well in a mink coat and a black two-piece suit, with not a hair out of place. On a podium at the front of the house, flanked by her husband, parents and sisters, Amy delivered a speech to the crowd before going inside to a luncheon in the newly installed cafe. Tragically, just five years later in 1941, Amy lost her life in a plane crash while serving with the Air Transport Auxiliary. But she is commemorated at Seaby Hall and Gardens by a series of exhibition galleries and an unrivalled collection of personal memorabilia that was donated by her parents in remembrance of that sunny day in June 1936.